know how we started. It was so long ago. We started when we were like, well, about 10 years ago. We played netball at school and then we started umpiring when we were like 13, 14. Yeah, both had a like, passion for the sport. We were both netball captains at school and just began umpiring just to be involved in the sport in another way, I guess. I was just watching a game once and thought, oh, I think I could do that. And I just gave it a go, but why not? Yeah, and, and then being the younger sister, I had to copy. <laughs> you just copied me. I think it was at a tournament just in our region. We were just doing it for a bit of fun, earning a bit of pocket money. And um, some people in our region just came up to us and sort of said, you know, actually, you could do this at a You've higher level. Potential, you, yeah. There's potential there for progression. And suddenly we were quite keen to progress. And it's taken off ever From since there. then. And the support of the people in our region have really helped us and pushed us to this, to this level to umpire nationally. There's always something else you can do better on. I quite like there's always a something. You're always there's learning. There's always a challenge. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a challenge and you're always learning something. So you always take something out of the game. Yeah, and actually you get to go to like really cool places that you never would have gone to before. And yeah, you're not getting paid for it, but you're not actually spending any money. Yeah, so last year I was fortunate enough to travel to Israel, which is a country I'd never normally think, I oh, know I want to go on, like where I'd want to go on holiday to. But it was the best experience of probably my life. It was the best 13 days. I met some like amazing people out there. And the experience of travelling to umpire and have that time away from home was really rewarding. I haven't been away. I haven't been abroad with netball. <laughs> Although Newcastle felt like I was abroad. <laughs> I like being in control. Yeah. I think I can be quite, quite loud mouth. Yeah. Being quite bossy. I feel I know the rules inside out, so I feel very confident when I've got a whistle in my hand because I know that if a player does argue or get a little bit annoyed, I know that I'm doing my best and I, I know the rules better than them, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> We rarely get the chance to umpire together, and if we do, I, I think we umpire quite well together. Yeah, I think we go into this like telepathic mode where yeah. we can really, we just look at each other and we know and we can help each other out across the court, and it's quite nice and it's quite reassuring. When you look across and you've got your sister there to just smile at and say, yep, yeah, you're doing a good job, or keep going. We quite like it because we're at opposite ends of the country. If we have a game a bit closer, we can go and see each other. Yeah, so it's our way nice. of catching up, I guess. I think you've got to want to do it. There's no point pushing someone to be an umpire if they don't want to do it for themselves. Yeah. We both mentor younger umpires and we just explain our story to them and tell them what we've done and how we enjoy it and what we get out of the game. When you come off a game and you've done a really good job, it's just that such feeling, a nice feeling. It's such a buzz, yeah. Yeah, and to get that week in, week out is really, well, not that I get it, not that I do a great job week in, week out, but <laughs> no, I, yeah, I really enjoy it. So yeah, we've just got a huge passion it. for the sport, really. Oh, cringe. <laughs> 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 <laughs>